Hey, what's up guys? It's Evan with Appalachian Adventures here. In the world of smart TVs, smart phones, smart cars, smart air conditioners, smart watches, why not have a smart rear view mirror? Check my view out of my rear view, uh, rear window there. It's horrible. I've got a bed rack and a rooftop tent. It's even worse out of my rear view mirror. My wife is back there and there's a truck behind her too. And you can't even see them. Now you can just barely tell that she's back there. Check out this Pelsey 12 inch rear view mirror slash front and rear dash cams. You can use this as a regular rear view mirror. You can also use this as your front and rear cameras. You can fully adjust the cameras up and down. You can swap to show both cameras at the same time. You can switch the cameras. Here's the front camera. The front camera is in 4K resolution and the rear camera is in 1080p. Real quick here, we'll get into this later. You've got front driver assistance for collision warning, pedestrian warning, traffic. It'll let you know when you're getting too close to somebody in the red lights. It'll let you know if the traffic is moving ahead so you can start driving forward. Start vehicle starting. Watch for collision. You've got the blind spot detection and your lane changing assistance. It'll watch behind you and let you know when cars are getting up in your blind spot. All right, guys, we got voice control too, so hands free. Show front camera. Okay. Show both cameras. Okay. Show rear camera. Okay. See, I told you this thing's cool. That's just the highlights real quick. We'll get into all of it later and show you an unboxing, install, and go into the details, show you driving around with all that in action. You can connect straight to this mirror with your app and Wi-Fi. You can see the live cameras. You can download the recorded videos straight to your phone. You can send them to people straight from the app. It's pretty sweet. Guys, I almost forgot, they got 24 hour parking monitoring too, but you gotta get a hardwire kit to uh, run this power to your battery. But it's got that and it will detect if something happens to your car while it's parked. So let's get straight into the unboxing here. All right guys, we've got the Pelsey Smart Wi-Fi Mirror Dash Camera, P12 Plus. This is a 12 inch screen. You can use it as a regular rear view mirror or the touch screen front and rear dash cams. The front camera is actually mounted straight on the back of this mirror. Here you've got your ports for your GPS, your memory stick, your rear camera, and the power. This actually works great as a regular rear view mirror without using the cameras too because it's bigger than your standard car rear view mirror. Now here we've got our instruction manual, we've got a warranty card, we've got a contact card in case you have any issues. We've got this really nice soft cleaning cloth for any dust or fingerprints. 
We've got the sticky pad with double sided tape and there's screws there. We've got your 64 gigabytes mini memory stick. We've got an easy pry tool for the trim in your car when you're trying to run the wires and hide them. We've got four straps and they're rubber. So when you mount this, it goes on top of your existing rear view mirror. And then you just hook these straps here and get it nice and snug around your existing rear view mirror. And it holds really well too. It doesn't move at all. You got your GPS module. You got your standard car charger cable, USB C, and the DC power. Here you got your rear camera kit. It comes with another double sided sticky pad there and two more screws. got a really long audio visual cable and then you got a red trigger wire for the reverse light so when you put your vehicle in reverse it triggers the rear camera and it also has the two lines on your backup camera like guidelines and here you got your little mounting points there and you can adjust it to however you need it and you can tighten up these screws and it'll stay wherever you need it to, to mount. And this camera actually unplugs from this cable too to make it a lot easier to run your cords. So here's where I installed the, cam the rear camera guys. What you want to do is put it where you think you're going to mount it without mounting it yet. Check your view from the mirror. Make sure you're good to go. This thing comes with these screws if you want to screw it in. Several different double sided tape. I actually used this Scotch Extreme mounting tape, double sided tape, because my bed rack, it's got kind of a texture and I wasn't sure if that provided double sided tape I didn't even try it, but I wasn't sure if it was going to hold long term, so I just went ahead and used that under here and mounted that right there. You can tighten up these screws to position the camera to whatever angle you want. I ran this cord straight back on top of the bed rack and used zip ties every so often. I also used these, you can get these at Lowe's or probably Amazon or wherever. They have double sided tape, so you stick that somewhere, run a zip tie through it, run a zip tie through there, and then you can zip tie your cable to it. That's, what, that's exactly what I did here, because there was nowhere to zip tie on this area on top to hold this cord down and hold it still then when I got to the last part of the bed rail I'll show you I ran the cord through a hole under there ran the cord across and down let's go check that out the cable comes down through there zip tied it across here zip tied it along this rail you can see I used one of those square things and a zip tie to hold it here and there got it ran down through here and into the hole that was already existing in my bed and since the, the bed kind of flexes with the suspension a little bit when you're driving around I wrapped electrical tape around it because there's 
a hole in the metal right there on the bed. So in case this rubs, I wrapped it up. All right, so that cable for the camera is going through the bed. So it's in here now in between the bed and the cab and it's just going down under the truck. So again, from a different angle, the middle of that rack, the cord is going, you can actually see it right there. It's coming down the side of this bed rack through the bed of the truck and in between the bed and the cab under the truck. Okay, underneath the truck along the frame rail, there's already wiring and a zip tied. That's the cable coming down in between the bed and the truck. Zip tied it along this frame rail that has wiring already up there. So that cable is going along the frame under the truck right here. And in my Jeep, we actually have drain holes. And what I did here, just a rubber drain hole and a hole through the bottom of the Jeep. That cable for the camera is coming up through here under the carpet. Yes, it's dirty and I'm sorry. We take this off road in the trails. The cable's under the carpet, under this plastic molding, which is easy. You just shove it up under there, all the way up under here, all the way up and around behind here. And I had to get an extension because that, that cable ended right here. So on Amazon, I bought an extension cable and I'll link that in the description below. I also mounted the GPS here. So once I've got that extension, plugged it in, the GPS cord and the camera cable are behind here. I used the tool provided with this camera to help pry these plastic pieces off the truck. So on any vehicle, pretty much all this stuff just pops right out with these clips. You just pop it out. You can see here the two cables for the GPS and the camera. I just shoved it behind there. Popped this whole black piece off, which on most any vehicle, you're gonna be able to just pop every plastic piece off. I ran these cables in here, zip tied it, ran them up under here. So this is your top of your windshield. You can shove everything up in there pretty good. But they're up in here, all along that. And here is the GPS and the rear view camera cables. Now you can see how these are L-shaped, plug it in. So the rear camera is right next to the actual power cable, which is an L-shape. And it's going out the other way because they can't both be facing the same direction. So I ran the power cord the other way. So the power wires in here, all hidden back behind this, behind here. And it's zip tied up here where there was already existing wiring and everything. I ran it all across. This is under the steering wheel and everything. Across under the carpet right here. Up, it's shoved up under here and then just pops out right there. So right here it is and it just plugs in right here. And the good thing about the power is you can plug your phone in or whatever else with a USB and still use your uh, cigarette lighter power port on your vehicle even when your mirror is plugged in. All right guys, this is my view from my regular Jeep rear view mirror. I've got the bed rack on there and the tent, so almost half of my window view is gone. You can see I can normally see a portion of the vehicle behind me. And normally there's a headrest right here where my hand is in the back, but that back seat is gone. You can see the headrest behind the camera here. Normally there's another one over there that's blocking even more of the view, but the rear seat's gone for the dogs. All right, guys, you can use this as an actual regular rear view mirror, too. You plug it up like this, 
your GPS goes over here. You gotta put your memory card in there, your rear camera, and then the power button. It's pretty easy to figure out. You just hook this on there and you wrap it around your regular rear view mirror to make it nice and snug. So let me show you that right now. And this front camera is gonna be sticking out beside your front camera or beside your regular rear view mirror. Okay, and I've already got everything ran here. Okay. Alright guys, here's what it looks like with the new Pelsey mirror on top of my regular rear view mirror. This is a 12 inch mirror and a screen so you can use this as a regular rear view mirror as well. So we're just going to go ahead and plug this in. Now check that view out. You can see that whole entire vehicle behind me plus the trash can over here. If there was a car behind beside it you could see that whole entire car. You can see the stairs. You couldn't see any of that before when the screen's off. Turn off screen. Okay. See how much safer it's going to be driving with that view. Turn on screen. Okay. You can actually change your view if you need to lower it. Backing up. I can't go too high because my rooftop tent is back there. So just this alone, I feel much better driving with this on as a rear view mirror. Cause I couldn't hardly see anybody behind me unless they were right up on me, especially on the interstate with people going real fast. All right, here's my view from the rear view mirror. Very limited view. Normally there's another headrest back there too. In the very back on that side but that seat is not in the back. So that opens up the view a little bit. You can tell, see there's only one headrest back there. But I can barely see the wife's Grand Cherokee back there. Only the bottom half of it, basically. Since this is an actual mirror too, there is a little bit of a glare from behind. So you can try to move it out of the way a little bit like that. Just reposition your whole mirror so the Reflection goes away. Show rear camera. Okay. Show front camera. Okay. So on the front camera, you can move it like this, just like I did with the rear camera, but also on the actual front, if you need to, you can move it like this to help position it. And on mine, I have my Jeep has the front collision warning detection and the adaptive cruise control. So this thing is huge. If you don't have any of that, that's not gonna be in the way and it's not gonna be taking up part of your view here on yours. But on mine, I'm not gonna be able to really get around that. Possibly. All right guys, here's the view from the Pelsey mirror on the front and the rear. You can adjust the mirrors too as you're driving. If you have a trailer behind you or something, Show both cameras. Turn off screen. Okay. Turn on screen. Okay. 
You can also adjust the brightness. All right, guys, we need to set up the blind spot monitoring and lane change assist. Because you can see the lines were a little bit off. So this is the screen for the advanced driver assistance. This is the front collision warning, pedestrian warning. Um, you can only use this one by itself for the front camera while those two are turned off, or you have to have this one turned off to do the rear monitoring. And this one's the blind spot detection for the rear and lane change assist. You can have both of those on at the same time. We need to set those up. So right here, I've pretty much got my blind spot straight behind me set up already. But to change this, you can actually just drag wherever you want, where that dot is, or use these arrows to move the dot up and down or to the side. And then when you're done moving this one, hit the middle button and it, the arrow or the little dot switches to the other side. So you move that wherever you want with these arrows or drag it with your finger hit the button again that little dot goes to the other corner goes to the other corner every time you hit the middle button there it goes to the different corner so you can set that up but that's pretty much set up already for me I've saved it so when you're uh, backing up in parking lots and people are straight behind your vehicle there you can get a warning so for your lane change assist I set this up a little bit earlier, but I did it in a parking lot. So as you can see, I'm on the side of the road right now, but if I'm driving, I need to move this one over a little bit that way, that whole box. So let's do that now. I'm just gonna kind of draw it to uh, match where that lane's at, kinda. I think this one over here is pretty good. That one just needed to be, the whole box needed to be moved over a little bit. So I'm gonna save that. Now to set up the front one, you need to kind of be on a flat road. And you look here, you need to set the red line up to where the horizon is. I needed to move it down just a little bit. Where the road pretty much goes out of view straight ahead. And then the yellow line, I need to put this green line, the vertical line in the middle, which I need to just put it in the middle of my vehicle, which will be the middle lane of the lane when I'm driving. Pretty much right there. Then the yellow line, I need to put it pretty much directly in front of my vehicle there. Save that. Now in mine, I have already front collision warning in my Jeep and also the adaptive cruise control. So I have a big, huge box kind of in front of my mirror in the way and so it's getting in the way of my front camera a little bit so you may or may not have that depending on what kind of vehicle you have and everything so that's how you set all that up and to turn these off you just simply hit that button in the middle there you can turn the front one on only without those two or you can turn that one off if you try to use the rear ones with that on it'll turn it off so you can use both of those at the same time now that line is set up that box is set up pretty good for that whole lane over there and this one 
It's pretty good over here. So let's go find some traffic and check it out. Rear camera. Okay. Show both cameras. Show both cameras. Okay. Watch for collision. Lane departure. Right here there's a screen grab from my phone watching a recorded video from the rear and front on the app and here's an actual recorded video downloaded to my phone from the front and the rear and they all record sound as well and they record the speed the GPS location the date and time this is a screen shot of being on my phone on the app watching the live videos of the cameras. This is a screenshot of the downloaded saved files. You can see here it shows your uh, map location as you're driving on the video. So all this can be real good if you're in a car accident and you need to prove how fast you're going or prove that somebody ran into you or something like that. All right, here's some shots where it's getting a little bit darker outside. Show front camera. Okay. Here's a couple recorded videos downloaded from the app to my phone of the rear and the front view at night. Lone departure. You don't have to watch it. It's just going to tell you. Watch. Watch for collision. See? You can see everything's pretty clear. I like it close to it.
right that's pretty much it guys you can see this thing works pretty good it makes driving safer as long as you're not playing with the mirror while you're driving too much you can see it records good videos it doesn't blind you at night it's got a lot of features for the price for sure I'm gonna put the links for Amazon in the description below for the mirror the extension cable that I needed and for the hardwire kit in case you want to use the 24-hour parking because you gotta hook it up to your battery appreciate y'all watching like and subscribe and we'll see you next time